Hello and welcome to the VSC. What is the VSC, you ask? It is the virtual science celebration. My name is Tom Cavanaugh and I want to commend all of you. Maybe not all of you. There's probably some people who are watching this who weren't the students who took the initiative to, con to conduct independent studies, enter the virtual science fair. Those are the people I'm talking to. <laughs> I want to, for those people, I have to say, I am overwhelmed by your intelligence, your inventiveness, your go get em, get ness And I have to apologize to you that because of the COVID virus, you get a guy dressed like this, like me, instead of some fancy person in a suit and tie <laughs> and <laughs> having a formal celebration. But listen, let's not take, have that take away from our VSC, Virtual Science Celebration. I am just honored, honored to be in the presence of such, like I say, intelligence that I have to tell you, frankly, I find a little annoying because there's no getting around the fact that you're 40 years younger than me and 40 times smarter. I don't like it, but because today is the VSC, let's move past it. I, as some of you may know, I actually play a scientist on television, a television show called The Flash, a superhero show where I play Dr. Harrison Wells. Um, like you, I have an interest in science. Uh, I have a science degree. And when we do all the science equations on the board in the cortex, I'm able to say, hey, wait, you're using the Taylor polynomial series to solve that equation? That's not right. I know you know what I'm talking about. People are like, you're annoying. <laughs> See? See how that works? And I do that when I'm not playing also this guy, who's the reverse Flash, and he's not that handsome, but he has a voice like this. That voice is very compelling when singling out names, which I would like to do right now, single out a few names. I've read all these projects, and once again, they're all incredible. They're all inventive and they're gripping and so fascinating and interesting so that I ha feel like the world with you is in incredibly good hands. I look at uh, Jose Miguel, who I do a show that talks about spatial dimensions. He was, his whole project was talking about shapes that exist in spatial dimensions. I was like, very good, very impressive. Keep going, keep going. Or Every time we run in and out on the flash, we use all this wind. And I read a project by Marin that basically Marin is the woman, the girl who more efficiently harnessed the wind. That's how you have to do that. She more efficiently harnessed the wind or Angela. Now, listen, Angela did a project, an investigation into dark matter. I spent season after season saying when the dark matter was released by the particle accelerate explosion. And talking to you, Angela, it was like talking to family right? Or Milo, you know, things are rough in the world right now. Milo came up with some technology that could take us into near space with no carbon emissions. Brilliant. Yes, annoying. Brilliant. <laughs> all, all of you, look, the fact that we have this, we're doing this virtually is because of many of the problems in the world. That's the reason that you get a guy dressed in a gray t-shirt like me. And I apologize for that, but I also want to say when I read through these virtual science projects, I, I am so encouraged because I know that the world going forward is in such incredibly competent and good hands, your hands. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you nothing but the best going forward.